went on this as a kind of like soul searching mission you discover who you are because you said you you were on the path to marriage you were engaged and yeah. then all of that disappeared so i mean that's gonna shake you up and obviously you know this was a spur of the moment thing but like did did the camino heal you um what fruits did you get from it and like how did it do that would you say mm. I think, you know, when you say um, people use the phrase like I'm here for self-discovery or finding a new path or it's a very common narrative on the Camino because even if people are there out of, uh, you know, I wanted to do this always because I saw the Martin Sheen movie or whatever, you know, I, even if that's part of it, there is always going to be some kind of spiritual experience and un and kind of underpinning to it as well. But I would say rather than sort of redefining myself, I was there to bring everything. And I didn't realize this at the time, but I was there to bring everything to the foot of the cross and lay it all down. Uh, so you have, I mean, I was... I was 22. I was in a situation where I, I wholeheartedly believed I was about to marry somebody and step into this sort of white picket fence scenario for my life. Um, and in, a, in the midst of all of that, I, I hadn't, definitely hadn't lost my faith, but I'd lost my... Um, it's my real sense of of sureness about my faith. I was engaged to a um, incredible man who was not Catholic, and it's a it's a really challenging dynamic to be trying to navigate when you're um, looking at you know lining your life to somebody for, for the rest of your life. Um, and so there was things that sort of came up as compromise, and it became in my heart quite a um a gray area or quite a uh an area of uncertainty in terms of how i felt about my faith and i saw in the end my faith as being one of the i guess one of the the causes of death of the relationship really and so i was angry with god i was angry that something i desired so much in terms of you know, marrying somebody I loved and, and starting a life together, I was grieving the loss of that. And I was furious, <laughs> which, um, you know, it's an interesting place to be in when you're also really hurting and you need comfort from and, and you know, healing from God. But you're also really, really wildly angry with him at the same time. Mm. And there's a place in, in the Camino, uh, I can't remember how far in, it's called Cruz de Ferro, and it's a cross on a hill uh, where people go and they lay something down. And it's different for everybody, everyone has their own experience there. And essentially um, what I did was I sat, and this is getting really personal now, but I sat and I prayed and I and I wrote my little message out um, of what I was letting go of. And I remember ending this message um, with, I give you all my hopes and dreams. And I'm speaking to God and I'm saying, I give you every hope and dream I ever had. And I lay it here at your cross and I carry on walking. And... So I don't think I was discovering myself so much as I was really letting go of of who I thought I was striving to be to become more of who God wants me to be um, and letting go of my ideals and my, you know, sometimes I think we pray as though it were a bit of a, God, we're a bit of a vending machine. You know, I want to put my, my prayer in in this slot and I'm I'm asking for you know item a on row three and if the wrong thing comes out or it gets jammed up then I'm gonna bang on that machine I'm gonna get angry and I this isn't what I ordered this isn't what I wanted it to look like and how dare you not function the way I expect and that's definitely the girl who left New Zealand and there were many pivotal moments but that in particular was 
probably my most one of my most profound in terms of realizing why I was there. Mm. And so I, I can't really say the Camino healed me, but the space and the experience that the Camino provided was a catalyst for me to to really crack the heart open. I think we think our hearts are broken, but God mm. wants our hearts so wide open that he will break them. I mean, Fulton Sheen said the Lord, the good Lord will break a person's heart to get inside it. And I think this relationship ending and this marriage not going ahead was the beginning of like a fracturing of the heart. And then the Camino really just, just broke it all wide open and poured it all out so that it could be begun to be knit back together again. Mm. 